Welcome back guys. This is part two of the 10 part series I started this year. Today we're going to look through the 1976 Scanlon's Rugby League cards. 132 cards in this set with 12 checklists. This is also going to be a how to do it video. I'm going to show you how to store these cards in what order, in what numbered order. Before we start, what I want you to do, I want you to set aside 16 Ultra Pro pages. If you have them, some individual sleeves, premium card sleeves. That's how I store my cards. I put each card in an individual sleeve and then put them straight into the Ultra Pro page. You want some post-it notes or a piece of paper, a pen or a pencil. Before we start with the number reading, that's what the wax wrapper would have looked like in 1976. Scanlon's League Football Bubblegum Cards. Okay, you ready? This is how I want you to store your cards. So write these numbers down. 19, 20, 21, 25, 26, 14, 31, 32, 33. Top row, left to right, number one, number two, number three. Middle row, seven, eight, nine. Bottom row, 13, 27, 15. Are you guys on board with what's happening here? If you're looking over here, there's going to be some magic happening soon. 115, 116, 117, top row, middle row, 121, 122, 123. Bottom row, 127, 128 and 129. Top row, left to right, 97, 99, 98. Middle row, 103, 104, 105. Bottom, 109, 110, 111. Top row, left to right, 22, 23, 24. Middle row, 89, 29, 30. Bottom row, 34, 35, 36. Top row, 4, 5 and 6. Middle row, 10, 11 and 12. Bottom row, 16, 17 and 18. Top row, 118, 119, 120. Middle row, 124, 125, 126. Bottom row, 130, 131, 132. Top row, 100, 101, 102. Middle, 106, 107, 108. Bottom, 112, 113, 114. 82, 83, 84, top row left to right, middle row 87, 28, 88, bottom row 92, 93, 94. Top row 42, 48, 54, middle row 72, 73, 74, bottom row 77, 78 and 79. Top row, left to right, 55, 56, 57, 61, 62, 63. Bottom row, 67, 68, 69. Top row, left to right, 37, 38, 39. Middle, 43, 44, 45. Bottom, 49, 50, 51. Top row, 85, 86, and then I want you to place the checklist the way I have it, with the bears facing outwards. Middle row, 90, 91, and the berries checklist facing outwards. And the bottom row, 95, 96, with the dragons checklist facing that way. Top row, left to right. Number 60, number 66, and the Eels checklist facing outwards. Middle row, 75, 76, and the Jets Newtown checklist facing outwards. And the bottom row, 80, 81, and the Magpies checklist facing outwards. Top row, left to right, 58, 59, the Panthers Penrith checklist facing outwards. Middle row, 64, 65, and the Rabbitohs South Sydney checklist and the bottom 70, 71, and the Roosters Eastern Suburbs checklist. Last page, top row 40, 41, and the Seagulls checklist, middle row 46, 47, and the Sharks checklist, 
Last row, 52, 53, and the Tigers checklist. This by far is probably my favoured set out of all the sets that I'm going to review. They are just gorgeous. They're in mint condition. Um, I bought these in the early 2000s, and I managed to pick up the checklists with them. Again, these checklists could go, these ones here specifically because they're in mint condition, are well over $100. This set is probably well over $1,000. Um, so I, I really value this set. So what I'm going to do now is I've put together a slideshow, as I mentioned in the previous video. So I've scanned this page here and the back of this page. And I've put them side to side. So you'll see it in the music picture slideshow. The song that these are going to be displayed with is again Sherbet in 1976. The highest selling single by an Australian artist was Sherbet with How's That? So if you have a look in the comments section of this video, you'll see a link. It'll throw you over to the Starscream channel and then you'll be able to see these on a big ass TV if you like because they are made to be viewed on the biggest screen possible and that way you can pause it if you didn't jot those numbers down and you'll be able to put them in the order that you need to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this video now. I'm going to take you, you, you into the bedroom where all the magic happens and I'm going to show you how to put this awesome rugby league picture puzzle together. So give me a moment to set up in the room and you really want to hang around for this. Okay, you want to find a nice large bed or a floor to uh, put the picture puzzle together. So I've taken my 16 Ultra Pro pages out and what you need to do is you take this first one off and you flip it upside down and push it as far up as you can whether it be on your bed or on the floor and once again take this one flip it upside down and join it on you should have four pages down to begin with flip it and flip it there's your start of your picture puzzle now what you'll do now is you'll start the next level down and the next level down and the next level down what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pause this video for the time being so I can put this together otherwise the camera is going to shake too much and you'll get a perfect view of what this scene looks like on the back of the 1976 Scanlon's rugby league cards there you have it guys, that is the Scanlon's 1976 Rugby League picture puzzle set. The only way it should ever be displayed without ruining your cards. Have fun with Scanlon's gum. Scenes from 1975 Grand Final between the St. George Dragons and the Eastern Suburbs Roosters. I've got my checklists running up the right hand side border here. If we only knew 50 years ago how much these cards would be worth, I doubt very much we'd be throwing them around in the playground to see who could throw them the furthest. <laughs> Okay, the only thing left to do now is go to the comment section, click the link, it'll throw you over to my Starscream channel. Watch the uh, music picture slideshow of all these cards along with this still image to the highest selling Australian single of that year, which happened to be How's That? from the band Sherbet. So until we see one another again on the next review, which will happen to be the Scanlon's 1977 denim set, Adiós.